Peter Kells, my name. Um, we're here today on the family farm. Uh, it's just to talk about the quad 500 I have here now. We actually bought the quad the first time back in 2006 or 2007. The main reason we bought it was for my father. He was maybe getting on in years and it was just handy for him to look at cattle and stuff now. And since that day, I'd say we've, myself and my brother Darrow, would have used it more than he's used it anyway. We look at the cattle with it, we feed bring meal out in the winter time with it. We were started off with 500s, stayed with 500s now. All from the beginning we went with um, the electric shift, which I don't think, I don't see the point in having a manual one anyway. That's my opinion anyway, every man's different of, of, of person. This one now, we have it about a year and a half, two years. We opted for the power steering is on it now, which makes a big difference if you're on the quad, maybe weed licking because you're steering a lot. Um, it does, when you're on it for an hour or two hours constantly, you'll know about it on your arms. Um, it has the electric shift, but also has the automatic on it, which is used constantly. It's got the independent suspension on it now as well, which we got on this model. It wasn't on the last models, makes a big difference. The Sprayer, we have that now, it must be seven, eight years now at this stage. Great for summer months, handy for spraying under fences, ditches, things like that, around the houses. Very easy to use, just collect it up to your battery and turn it on and away you go. I opted also for the box in the back, which is a must, I think, on any quad, um, just for carrying stuff around if you're doing fencing things like that, um, very good to have. I have been buying my quads off Martin Dowd since the beginning, uh, more or less. Um, absolute gentleman, very good salesman. Price with Martin, straight and honest, and actually no messing, and he gives you price, and it is, I think it's fair anyway. Um, we never had an issue there whatsoever. Finance options, very good. Um, when it comes to the backup, uh, I always would be ringing Christopher and I ring Christopher up in the in the service centre and he'll break you in straight away. I do bring the quad in myself. There's an option there, I believe, um, for for them to come out and collect your quad and bring it in and service, depending on distance, I presume. Uh, I don't need that, but um, I would bring it in in the morning in the cattle trailer, drop it off and back that evening, service done and dusted. Warranty on this quad was two years and genuinely, I never had to use it. Never had to use the service or the warranty whatsoever. Um, can't fault that. There's an option on the quad um, for diff lock and four wheel drive. And I have used it uh, and it makes a big difference if you're in a wet spot. We do have some wet spots here, especially in the winter time if we have to do something. I would highly recommend anybody buying a quad for the extra price, uh, especially for resale. And I know that's what they'll tell you anywhere when you're buying something. I would recommend going with the power steering all day long. Definitely don't go without it. It makes a big difference to the quad, so it does. I also bought, when I was buying this quad, um, we had a weed licker here years ago on the farm with the carpet, which did its job, but personally, we'd have rushes on the farm. Great, I think we'd, everybody has them around here. Um, and I opted for the, I, I decided to change it, and I went for the Logic 2000. Um, reason being, it's on bristles, and when you're weed licking through rushes, the rushes get through the um, bristles far, far easier and more contact with the spray. And I have to say, it does a fantastic job. Wouldn't be without it. Recommend it to any man or woman that's buying a weed licker. Lo have it long before any of the rest of them. That is a fact.